So here are my updated sliders for FC25 goalkeeper career mode. So I'm down to world class now. That's a crucial thing. Four minute halves are okay, but five minute halves means you get a lot of highlights. The settings are quite similar if I'm on it. Still got 65 sprint speed on both. I just feel like it quickens the game up a little bit. Um, and on acceleration, feel free. That's just a preference thing. Now shot error. Um, this kind of really depends on skill levels where you are. 50 shot error with the user one because I just find I was winning a lot of games on world class anyway. With legendary, it's totally opposite. With legendary, I can't quite get settings right. My initial settings only really worked in the first week, if I'm brutally honest with you. Uh, again, this is a bit based on skill, but I've gone 25 at the moment for the CPU because um, it, I just found it a bit too easy, if I'm honest, at times. Uh, pass, error, 40 and 40, just makes the game a little bit more, sort of, just, yeah, it's just easier to watch at times. Now, shot speed again, feel free to put this one up a little bit, depending on how you are for your user, but at the moment I've gone 50 and I'm 55 on the CPU, just to give you a bit more range of strikes, you know, especially from the edge of the box. Pass speed, 55, I just want to see a little bit more in there. E injuries, you can do what you want with that, I just leave that all the same. Some people will put the injuries up because you don't get enough injuries um, historically in Korea over the last few years, but whatever. Goalkeeper ability, I'll, I'll leave all that. Now with the marking, again, it's a little bit of a difficulty based thing, but right now I've settled with 35 on the user and 45 on the CPU. You'll get more chances then, you'll get more chances, but it's still quite an even amount. Run frequency, I always have this on high. Um, line height, again, I just find they've been too deep. I put this up to 65 quite recently, especially in that Bromley team. Neither here or there at the moment with these two settings, but I put it at 55 just to give a little bit more of a range. Same with full back positioning. These can be tweaked, but these are not the ones I look those into. And first touch, just I've made the game a little bit slicker to watch. CPU sliders, these are quite important. I haven't tweaked that one yet. Build up speed, 60, just to get a bit more. You could even put out 65. Shot frequency, 55. That means you get more shots, more from the edge of the box. You might want to put that up a little bit more. Um, first touch, pass frequency, I've left for now. Crossing, this is quite important. Again, feel free to tweak all these and let me know. But I just found I had a lot more crosses, um, which is quite good. Might put up a little bit more actually to 70 if you compare it to like pro clubs. You might want to put up a little bit more, so I'm going to put on 70 actually, but 65 is what I've had. Dribble frequency and skill move again. Bring it up a little bit, but that's kind of like a preference thing. If you're finding too many skills and dribbles, then go for that. But I, I do really like these settings. World class is the key now. The settings are a little bit too imbalanced now if you have it on legendary. Um, it worked in the first week of the game, but these are my settings now. Thank you so much, and let's get into the episode. After winning the Ballon d'Or League 2, winning Golden Glove, but also getting relegated, we have moved, of course, to Wigan, as you have seen at the end of the last episode, um, after a disappointing end to the Bromley era. But we had a good time. But we're at Wigan now, as the ex-Premier League club. I'm in the gloves of Ali Al Habsi, my goalkeeping inspiration in life. Um, Wigan actually just about stayed up in this uh, season. They were like in the bottom four um, in about March and then they did end up on a good run. But hopefully we can build a team that can fight at the right end of the table as the club looks to rebuild. Uh, but Swanee's are number one now, so hopefully I can keep up that good form. There was some championship interest, but I've decided to go League One in the end. Um, and for that, I was looking at Bolton as well. But uh, talking of Bolton, we actually had a few friendlies um, against League One teams, and I, I won the number one spot against Dayton Orient, Bolton, and I think Fleetwood. But I made a string of saves in pre season, which meant I was going to season number one, which I didn't quite get in the first season. Um, I, yeah, I was still sort of tweaking my settings a little bit over the first few games of the season the ones that i've put um recently at the start of this video or if you're watching this on tiktok in the last clip uh, but we drew one one against bolton in a friendly uh, again i made some good saves and yeah i just think even though i tweaked as it goes on the, the on world class is the way forward really for me now but it is really important that saves ridiculous the deflection to do that and then finally we beat uh fleetwood which is nice actually because I just don't you don't see a team win much when you get relegated funny enough it's funny how it works isn't it even apart from the last game of the season when we won 5-1 when we already got relegated which we just couldn't make up but I made some really good saves meant I was comfortably the number one going into the new season I really like the purple kit I've gone for white gloves and white boots as well as we went into the season bolting away and for the last 10 years plus on FIFA Bolton just they make the rebot like 50 60k um, so we played a huge stadium for Bolton away um, as they did go through early on it was a good save it's important to have a nice debut of course um, and it was a good save two strong hands there uh, from resulting corner though Bolton came forward no closing down whatsoever and not too short up on there but it was a great save it was a good block and it was a good save but the Wigan players didn't really close down there, but Bolton did come forward all over us. And then, yeah, a bit of a weird animation. I almost fell backwards 
Uh, but Collins made it 1-0 for Bolton and we've just been completely under the cosh. I'm like, oh, but there goes another relegation. But we did go back into the game. We had a good strike, which is well saved. Um, we tried to keep it alive. And I just maybe mid-table is the aim. It was another good save. But I also feel like it could end up being a playoff push or promotion push. Let's just see. But this is important to get a result here. It's a good save. Kept it 1-0. I've made some really good saves. We did break through the 31st minute. Threw on goal. And it was saved again by Bolton's keeper. It was just having a really good game and the cross was just over here and that almost found its way in as well. But look how open these games are now with these settings. There's so many um, highlights. Again, a good save to keep the score at 1-0 uh, by Swanee. Before, in the 40th minute, Bolton did come forward again, trying to put some breathing space. Had a straight and again, good save. Similar shots, but a good save. Um, nonetheless, and I kept us in the game, which would, again, just... It's just brutal. Um, we just were getting absolutely battered. Even though we won comfortably in the last pre-season game against Fleetwoods, uh, we were getting absolutely battered by Bolton, who lost in the playoffs last season um, in real life the season before. And then in this, another good save in the first half um, in this save. But yeah, 52nd minute, another good chance. We're still in this game, though. We're still making good chances. Both keepers are in fun. It's a tough paper round for his, their keeper, isn't it? Crikey. Um, but, yeah, both keepers were having a good game. But finally, we got the equaliser. We, we kind of deserved, in a way, as many good saves I've made. We've, been, we've created a lot of chances. It's nice when you've got to play a negative 5 for one And that is probably one of my best saves of the game so far, up to an 8.3. Brilliant low down, moved across with the left stick. Well, a bit of sprinting to get across. And it got even better when a shot got deflected. It almost went in. Almost went in, but we all kept pushing. Still 1-1. And then what a game though, what an incredible game. And then we finally found those Stones, he's a Michael Cheek of this team. It's Bolton 1, Wigan 2. I mean, I've had a dream debut, but we've, you know, we've also created a lot to make it 3-1. Stones again and another good save by their keeper. Just real open game, which is what these new settings make. Uh, but in the 88th minute, Bolton came forward and they broke our hearts. So no chance for me there. 2-2. Two, two. They rescue a point. What an opening game of the season. Bolton v Wigan. It's like proper Barclays um, sort of fixture that was. In the 91st minute though, we broke through. It was the moment. It was the moment and he's missed. He missed. How did he miss? But in the end, I think a score draw was the right result. Into the League Cup first round, away to Notts County. I actually did play this game just because I still just wanted to make sure I sort of kept my place in the team rather than just sim it. Um, and we're all over them, obviously, Notts County. We, well, it was one of the last games we basically got us relegated in the two last season. But we've returned with Wigan. Notts County did come through loads of space. And, well, I, I saved well, but I should probably just put it in the corner there, to be brutally honest with you. Um, but it's all going very well. And let's look at a replay. I've almost spooned it. I almost saved it twice, really. We came forward again, though. Um, and with Stones, look at what a player. And again, Sam Sulkham made a good save, like he did against Bromley last season. But finally, on the stroke of half time, we got the crucial opening goal. It's that man again. It's just literally going to score our goal. Stones, number 25. I made a. I could have caught it, really, but. I don't know what happened. I tried to <laughs> I tried to pick the ball up, which would have been a pass back. And then I fell asleep and it went 2-0. I do play quite a lot of these games. I can't lie when I'm like falling asleep in a way. So sometimes I do forget to sort of select. And I don't know what happened there. But what a save. That's one for my reel. Uh, but not counted. There's not much up in the second half. Good solid save there in the centre first minute. Um, to keep the clean sheet, which has been nice. Um, after a really good performance against Bolton, we still conceded two goals. And again, routine save. The 82nd minute, but it's a really good performance. Um, and into the second round of the League Cup we go. As it got even better in stoppage time. A nice 3-0 win at Notts County. Uh, it's looking good if we can win the next game in the league. And yeah, so Oxford at home. They've just got relegated from a championship in this. They uh, came straight back down. Um, so a tough start really having Bolton and Oxford. But Oxford came for in the second minute and it was a, I spilled it more than anything. But I still a save, still a save. Always good to make a good first save. And luckily went to my defender. We then came forward and it was their keeper's turn to make a good save in the 11th minute. Their games are so good. I'm loving this, the matches. Oxford came through a good save. This was offside, but I put my real way anyway. Um, so, yeah, but then we finally, I think we found a breakthrough. Yes, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> we did not. How did you miss? Literally only one player in this team can score, and it's not him. 
But how did he miss that? That was ridiculous. But still, entertaining game. 20th minute, Oxford found some space. And just wide, I was beaten there. But McCreckham put it wide, thankfully for us. Again, good last ditch defending there by us. But still good chance and another good save. Keeps it in the all near around a half an hour mark. Really even games, all this. Results in corner. Incredible loop save. Incredible loop. Incredible save. It's late. I need to go sleep. Good save by Swanee there. Uh, before Wigan finally um, had the breakthrough. 1-0, a crucial goal. So that's a topsy-turvy game. But yes, and it wasn't our main striker either. May it 1-0. Um, before Oxford came back. And again, a great save. Whether it's pretty central or not. Still did well to get to save that. And put it in a good area as well. That's the main thing. But what a game I'm having. What a start to my Wigan career. Just carrying on the brilliant form. That I had into this next one as we just try and aim for it. And it went 2 0 up. And this is looking really good. We could, you know, could be after relegation last season. We could actually, do I say it, be pushing, you know, upwards this season. But then if you look at it, that's another good save. Both of these games went even. And you can even see we've outplayed on a nine point one already. We got even better before after I went 3 0. Bit smash and grab this game in a way. I wouldn't say it's been a 3 0 game. It's been very even. But. We've just been absolutely having them. Their keeper did make a save in the second half. Well, I made another good save there. Uh, scrambled that ball away. And then from the resulting corner, another good save. And we'll save it twice. Just ridiculous amount. I did end up almost going on. I think I got 12 saves in the end in this game, which is what I got in one of the games last season. How Oxford did not score that, I don't know. But this is what I mean. They're very open games. Like This could have been 4 all on another day. Like The first game was 2-2. Uh, but Oxford broke for an that's a ridiculous save. I've got a bit lucky. I've, I have gambled a bit and tried to read because he opened his body out and then uh, moved it across and then made the save. If you, you know, put it at the other place, I look a bit stupid. But again, another incredible save. Just ridiculous form, really. Uh, before they put one more final save out of me. But it would stay that way. A first well-earned clean sheet. 3 0 in the team of the week. Four points from two games and a League Cup win. Two clean sheets and that. New settings looking good. New club looking good. Keeper kit looking good with the gloves. It's going to be a fun season, everyone. Thank you for all the support as ever. See you soon.